أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإن جاهداك على أن تشرك بي ما ليس لك به علم فلا تطعهما وصاحبهما في الدنيا معروفا واتبع سبيل من أناب إلي ثم إلي مرجعكم فأنبئكم بما كنتم تعملون يا بني إنها إن تكم إثقال حبة من خردل فتكن فتكن في صخرة أو في السماوات أو في الأرض يأتي بها الله إن الله لطيف خبير يا بني أقم الصلاة وأمر بالمعروف وانهى عن المنكر وانهى عن المنكر واصبر على ما أصابك إن ذلك من عزم الأمور Sadaqallahu'l-Azim These are ayat from Surah Luqman, the ayah number 15 and 16 and 17. In the ayah number 15, Allah Azza wa Jal still talking about the parents and how should we deal with them, how should we respect them, Actually, we have seen in the ayah number 14 that Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ Indeed, we have enjoined on man to be dutiful and to be good to his parents. In that ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enjoined us to be dutiful to them and to be good to them. And remember that Allah Azza wa Jal says elsewhere, وَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفِّنْ And do not say to them of. Do not show them that they are annoying you. Do not show them that you are buried with them, from them. You should be respectful to them. Even you should not say of to them. You should bear patiently their difficulties and you should be you should deal with them you should treat them kindly in this world even if they are not believers even if they are do not if they do not believe in the only one god they are your parents and you should deal with them kindly you should behave with them kindly in this world this is and that you should do that because of the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the commandment of your Creator. Not just because they are your parents and you are in love with them. No, it should be for the sake of the Creator. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us how we should deal, what we should bear patiently their difficulties and how till what we should be dutiful and good to them until they struggle with you about your religion if they try hardly wa in this word is important it means that if they say something just saying it without trying hardly to make you give up your religion if they just say something do not give that such important to their saying and endure their saying but if they try hardly if they strive with you about your religion and not just about your religion about any detail in religion if they strive with you to make you enjoin others in worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they force you, if they coerce you to commit shirk, to say that there is deity beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is, as you know, it's the most important crime in this religion, which 
will never be forgotten by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if a man or if a human being die in that state. So if they come to that point striving with you, then obey them not. فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا Obey them not. And this is the top. And this is the maximum. You should obey them till that point. You should obey them till that point. Look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving importance to behave with them kindly. So something details, something small. Do not give such importance to that small things and do not struggle with them for that small things. But if they come, if they reach to that point and try to make you join others in worship with Allah Azza wa then exactly at that point do not obey them. And say, I believe in my Creator and your Creator and there is no any deity but God, but the Creator, the only one God. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran teaches us that we should make dua for them. We should make pray for them. We should pray for them. And say, وَقُلْ رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا Oh my God, bestow your mercy upon them. رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِ صَغِيرًا As they did bring me up when I was young, when I was little boy, when I was small, they did bring me up. So, oh my God, please help them and bestow your mercy upon them. This dua shows that we should make dua for them and actually the ayah starts, قُلْ Say, make this dua for them. So do not despair about them. If they are not believers, make your dua to your Creator and deal with them kindly. And that stay at that circumstance until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know any goodness in them, He will guide them. But actually we should fulfill our responsibilities. This is our test. This is our exam. This life is our life. First of all, we should fulfill our responsibility. We should behave with them kindly because the order of the Creator. Of course, we can expect and we should expect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day will guide them also like He guided us. He guided us. وَإِنْ جَاهَدَكَ لِتُشْرِكَ بِي مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ فَلَا تُطَعْهُمَا So do not struggle with them about some politics or about something details in this life or details in this religion endure them and behave with them kindly because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He picked up the most important crime in this religion and gave it as an example so selecting this example has some meaning for us he wants to say you are as their son or as their daughter you should be patient you should bear patiently with them some people the others may struggle with them about another topics but you have not that right you should obey them you should deal with them kindly but if they say to you or if they ask you to make uh, to join others in worship with your creator then at that point obey them not till that point behave with them kindly even if they ask you this crime to commit this crime 
it doesn't mean that after that moment you can give up them and that after that moment you can behave with them harshly no Allah says وَصَاحِبُهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا and be with them and live with them and deal with them in this world مَعْرُوفًا you should choose a midway you should choose an understandable way with them you should behave with them kindly وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا while you are not obeying them to join others in worship this is the most important red line in Islam and the parents also cannot involve in this topic they cannot ask this to them from their son or from their daughter from these ayat we can understand the rule of the parents and the value of the parents how they are important in Islam this is the right of Allah this is the do of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over us we should behave with them kindly وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا وَاتَّبِعَ السَّبِيلَ مَنْ أَنَابَ إِلَيْهِ and follow the way of him who turns to me in obedience and repentance سَبِيلَ مَنْ أَنَابَ إِلَيْهِ you have not the right to follow them in their religion even if they are your parents you have not that right you should distinguish the truth from the falsehood you should follow the truth you should follow the way of him who turns to him turn to the returning to the creator in repentance and obedience this is our way we should follow this way and here the one who turns to him there's no name anyone any human being if you see him that he turns to his creator in repentance and obedience actually we have uh, talked about this kalim about this word anaba inaba means you break all bounds with the other and turn turn to your creator believing that he has every right over you and you should live by respecting him and you should live in accordance with his commandments this is the way of the believers they know that they are not free in this life and they, do, they didn't create this life for themselves 